And finally, London Science Museum is showcasing an exhibition dedicated to Muslim contributions to science. The museum has opened its doors to the collection named 101 Inventions Discover the Muslim Heritage in Our World. Seven zones in the museum are dedicated to showing, showcasing Muslim contributions to medicine, architecture, farming, astronomy, education, instrument making and geography. Here's more. The Science Museum in London recently opened its doors to an exhibition celebrating 1,000 years of Muslim contribution to science. 1,001 Inventions Discover the Muslim Heritage in Our World brings to life many forgotten or unknown inventions made by Muslim scholars in the period spanning the 7th to 16th centuries, featuring discoveries made by scholars from Southern Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Asia and China. Among the items the exhibition is particularly proud to feature is a giant replica of a 13th century clock known as the Elephant Clock. Designed by the 12th century Muslim scholar and engineer Abu al-Iz al-Jazari, the clock boasts highly innovative technology for its time and incorporates elements from several cultures. Two turbaned men sit atop an Indian elephant, while Chinese dragons inch down at every half hour to signal the time. We have about a thousand years amnesia in our mind, which is a thousand years before, prior to the European Renaissance. Sometimes we call that in Europe as the Dark Ages. But actually, when you look at it outside Europe, you find this is something like the golden age of other civilizations, particularly the Muslim civilization. Many of our friends interpret good deeds today by doing more prayers and reading more Quran and so on. But in those days, the good deeds have embraced anything that improved the quality of life, meaning salih, which means useful deeds. And hence, the emergence of research and medicine, emergence of hospitals. Among the other focal points of the exhibition is a three-meter model of a 12th-century world map designed by the 12th-century Muslim geographer and traveler Muhammad al-Idrisi long before Christopher Columbus or Marco Polo explored the world. Other key items include 1,000-year-old medical instruments, a model of an environmentally friendly Baghdad home, and a 9th-century dark room which later became known as Camera Obscura, which has been used in the understanding of optics. We're trying to inspire young people in the West and also in the developed countries, Muslim countries as well, that they should be taking role models from these great people who have contributed greatly. But more than that, we would like in this time and of age where there is all sorts of misunderstanding and uh, misperception of people to each other, is to say, look, we are creating a new space of dialogue. I know we are doing interfaith dialogue, we are doing interpolitical dialogue, but we are now creating a new space, which is the historical roots of science. The exhibition seemed especially tailored towards youngsters. It includes interactive monitors and joysticks that invite young people to engage in learning about the past. And the new Muslims created this much stuff. We invented these things. I've learned some Arabic words that I've never knew before. Yeah and originations of some art that I've never seen before. A lot of our students, 60% um, of the whole school is made up of Muslim children, um, so it's nice for them to actually find out where their heritage has actually come from. Um, also for people like myself who's actually non-Muslim to find out exactly you know, what Muslims are about, how far they've come back and what they've actually done for us today as a community. So far, the exhibition has proved a hit among many visitors, giving them some insight into the work of Muslims throughout the ages. London Science Museum is running the exhibition until the 25th of April.